It's a first-of-its-kind look at the sustainability of our great industry. The beef industry now has information about our sustainability from cradle to grave. The Beef Checkoff Funded Assessment provides a benchmark for the industry to monitor progress toward a more sustainable future. The preliminary results were rolled out in January to industry leaders. Those results show that the beef industry has an exciting opportunity to, for the first time, tell its story of sustainable beef production backed by science. The first ever beef industry sustainability assessment shows progress made over past decades. The assessment measures beef's contribution to the U.S., utilizing environmental, economic, and social measurements. As we better understand the consumer, and understand that this is a concern of theirs, this whole arena of sustainability, and that we are not just uh, sort of sticking our head in the ground, that we are in fact acting on it uh, is, uh, is, pretty, uh, is pretty positive and speaks, uh, I think speaks volumes for our industry, that we are proactive, that we are trying to get in front of uh, the issues that are facing our protein, and that we can um, take advantage of it, do a better job, be committed to continual improvement, and produce even a better product more sustainably than we have in the past to the consumer. And so I, I really feel like that the beef industry is sort of leaders uh, in the protein marketplace, and this is evident of that. An advisory board representing the entire industry, from cow-calf producers to the packing sector, participated. The group says they know the importance of all sectors working together on this journey. I think most of us recognize that we're in this thing together. Um, you know, it's not about the cow-calf or feeders or packers or the retailers. It's about delivering the best product to the consumer in, in the most sustainable way. And I think that's really the core message that we have here is that each of the sectors have opportunities to improvement. But as we become, um, as we become more efficient together, then that's where the big impacts are going to be. That's really where the significance of what we want to accomplish is going to be around, is about that holistic approach of what we can do together uh, in driving a better product to the consumer. To date, no other industry has completed a holistic life cycle assessment on its full production chain. Beef producers are now positioned to lead the discussion with other protein groups, consumers, non-governmental organizations, and other influencers. I'm actually really encouraged to see this effort going on. I think it's critically important, and I think that this is an example of where the beef industry is a leader. The others will follow. The other livestock sectors will follow. Dairy has done a lot of work too, more focusing on carbon footprint. The beef industry is looking more at the whole sustainability area, including carbon footprint, but not limiting itself to it. And so what I really appreciate about this project is the complexity. It really looks uh, across many different areas, and that's um, a game changer. I think the U.S. beef industry can establish itself as a leader, not just in this country, but even globally, in establishing indicators for sustainability. What we've been seeing here today is talking about where we've been uh, from the 70s to 2005 to 2011. And the results are very encouraging because they're showing that we have made dramatic increases. In some cases, those, those increases have been uh, credited to improved technologies in our crop production, better yields, or our better yield and production in our cattle that we grow and, and produce, where you can do more with one animal instead of having to have two animals consuming those resources. And so this has really been a very enlightening discussion, and I, I'm really excited for producers as a whole to get a look at what's come out here. The project's next steps include more research and a continued focus on sustainability. One of those steps includes regionalizing the data to allow producers in specific parts of the country to analyze their own practices. The best news? Our industry is already on a strong path. The message I have for producers is to keep doing what you're doing. You're on the cutting edge. You look at what people are interested in, what they're concerned about, and you act on it. And that sets an industry standard of moving forward. I think that is role modeling for the rest of the food industry to better their practices. It takes care of the environment. And quite honestly, it helps your bottom line as well. But certainly as consumers, we benefit. The big picture is, and it's 
part of the game is, is that it's not only feeding people now, it's making sure that we can also feed people 10 years from now and 50 years from now and 100 years from now. And, and so it's a process of thinking, uh, as Bob Budd, a rancher in Wyoming, says, learning to think at the pace of rocks and mountains while learning to act in our own lifetimes. To learn more about the preliminary results of the Beef Industry Sustainability Assessment, visit beefresearch.org.